My name is Zoe and I'm from Culver City, California. And when did you come to Los Angeles? Oh, I was born and raised in LA. So I grew up in Westchester, uh, right by the LAX airport. Awesome. And then what's the name of your business? Uh, Happy Goods Unlimited. Where did you start it? Uh, 2008. Cool. And then why don't you tell us a little bit about what you sell I'll and what do you do here? Okay, so we sell uh, fine jewelry, bath body care products, and then we also have a clothing line as well. Okay, and it's all handmade? Uh, everything's handmade. I make everything, and then I have four artists and two jewelers that work with us now that help us to keep enough inventory and stock. Can you walk us through kind of how you make your jewelry, like what's the process? So, in order to make a piece, you first have to come up with a design. That's something that I love doing. That's actually why I started. Uh, because everything, you always get to do something different with. Uh, then we find nice, fine jewelry gemstones. I always work with semi-precious because it's a little bit of a better quality. Uh, we create the design. We'll have to do molding um, or we'll do stone cutting. And then we set everything and uh, do our like sample. If that works and we put it out, then we make more of them. How do you hope that your business impacts people? Well, I actually started this line because I wanted to remind people that they can find happiness in anything. Um, it's not really about the products, it's more about the impact on the community. So uh, our tagline is handmade products for happy people. And a lot of the times, you know, you might be feeling down one day or you're a little bit sad. And then if you take the time to witness like the beauty around you, you uplift your spirit. It's not like your perspective changes necessarily, but what you're paying attention to changes. And life is still the same, um, but you can take the opportunity to see like the beauty around you. So that's the same thing with the products. The products don't make you happy. It's your awareness of the beauty around you and the environment around you that brings a little bit more joy to your life. So one of the things I love a lot that we make are the hummingbird earrings. Um, I actually grew up having, uh, I always say wife and husband, I'm sure they weren't married because they're birds, um, but they would come every year to our backyard and make little babies and we get to see them fly off and get to see the little nests and stuff, it was so cute. So I do the hummingbirds in honor of that and that always resonates a lot with people. Um, these ones, the lightning bolts, I love lightning and I made them for people to remind them that they're fierce and that they're powerful and they can go out and conquer whatever they want. And then um, the hearts are really nice because it's love and it reminds you to always be open. Let's see, what else do I like? Oh, I love our ear cuffs. Um, these are actually really cool because you don't need piercing for them. So you just slide them on your ear. I love the idea of having multiple holes in my ear but I don't like pain. So I cannot get all those piercings. Uh, so that's why we started this line here. That's been really popular for us too. The back and body product line, I um, actually started this because I have really sensitive skin. So I have to be very aware of the products I use, uh, but none of them smell really good. And I love things that are fragrant. Um, I grew up with my mom like lighting candles and giving us like bubble baths and stuff. So I like really nice things. Uh, so what I love about our line is the smells are so good, you really feel like you can eat them. Of course you cannot, they are not edible, but they smell like that. So mm, this one is our Lavender Luxury scent. We also have a Mango Mambo Baby, which is a really popular one too. And we use five different oils in them, so they're really moisturizing. And um, we also have our shower steamers, which are nice too. I can't do baths anymore, uh, but I do still want aromatherapy experience. I put that little shower steamer on the floor of my shower and the whole bath smelled amazing. My sinuses open up in the morning. What made you bring your business to Uh So we actually had our first show at Melrose 15 years ago. Uh, and that was when I was like really, really little. And uh, I actually didn't sell anything at that show. Uh, and it wasn't Melrose Trading Post. So it was just a show that was here at Fairfax. And then the first time we did a market, uh, we did Miller's Trading Post, and we sold really well. Miller's is amazing. Uh, and then we wound up growing and expanding. I started doing wholesale. I opened up a store down in Abbey Kenny, and we weren't able to come anymore. Um, they just didn't have enough help. 
And then the pandemic happened and everything closed. And I actually have uh, two people in my family that have a existing condition. So I was really hesitant on coming out and selling. But Melrose's policy was so great. And I remember how amazing the staff was. They really care about us. So like, if I'm going to come back out and sell, I'm coming to Melrose. And it was the right decision because it's beautiful here and everyone's so nice here. And the vibe and the atmosphere is really compelling. Uh, do you have a favorite memory here? Telling her I have this question. I'm sorry, I can't just pick one thing. Oh, I know there's a lot though. I wouldn't say this is my favorite memory, but it's the funniest memory. So I have a repeat customer who comes usually every couple months and she buys a lot of my jewelry. And uh, we wind up having an opportunity to talk because I wasn't as busy this time. So I asked what she does and she said she's into music. I told her I love supporting new artists. So I said, let me write down your artist name and I'll look you up on Monday and I'll play you and give you some hits. And I looked her up and she has like 50 million followers. Um, wow. <laughs> so I thought it was really funny because she was just really humble, super cute. And she's like, yeah, I would appreciate that. I love getting support for my art. And then she walked away and I was like, so happy to support this young artist. And yeah, she definitely, she's a bigger one than I expected. <laughs> Um, do you have any places you love to shop here? Um, I really love shopping at, well, I wouldn't really call it shopping. I love going to Vix in the morning, Vix Coffee. Um, that really helps a lot for our early morning start. Yeah. And then um, I love the guys at One Off Project. Uh, I usually, I've gotten like one custom jacket that I get compliments on every time that I come. This is the jacket, it's my favorite one. I got it custom done, so they put a rainbow pattern on this side here. We have the back right here. It's cool. I love it. Uh, I've never bought any um, dog collars, but Brad seems is really cool too. They have um, amazing accessories for dogs. I'm a cat person. I have a lot of cats, so that's my thing. Mm -hmm. But if I didn't have a cat, I would totally get something there too. So we hear you have a new brick and mortar shop opening. Why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, so we're actually opened up a brick and mortar store at the OC Marketplace. It's a co-op where they have about 100 different artists. We've been on the waiting list for three years and they contact us and they said, we have a spot for you. So we're setting up now, it's really exciting. Um, and I can't wait for everyone to see if they're down in the OC, they can come and check it out. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, this was awesome. Wow, okay, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> You can shop our collaboration with Happy Goods Unlimited for the Mowers Apothecary at mowerstrainpost.org.